All right, in this second part of the lessons, uh, the car driving lessons, I will show you how you create the custom cars. First of all, I will drag the one 3D object models from the car models. It's called Marsevia Ghost, the 3D FPX. Then after you put it in the assets, you just click and drag it into the scene. So double click on that, you see these cars. The cars is quite small, so I need to change the scales of the cars to make the same size as our the Unity car prefab, like the car size that we just now the, that we have been added in the previous lessons. So this is the car three models that we just added in, and then I'm gonna be change the skills, the resize the skills same as the the size of the same about the same size of the the car prefab that we use it in the Unity vehicle package. Okay, so now I think the I I already changed the X Y Z skills of the cars. That looks okay. So since we'll be using the, this the new car. So I'm gonna be off the previous Unity car. Just uncheck the car on top of the cars, so the objects. The, just uncheck the objects. You don't need to delete. You just uncheck. So this the the previous car that we use it in the past lesson is already out. It's already disabled out. Then this is the car that uh, we'll be using. So we already done the scaling of the new cars. Then I will add the one more camera for the cars and then I'll just put it behind the car and I'm going to be using the same thing like the, the previous. I'll just add the smooth follow scripts for the cameras and then I'll be drag the cameras, drag the cars in the targets. So we just add the car and after that we add the camera. And we attach a smooth follow script to the cameras and the target we set as our players. Then we're going to be write the script called like car control scripts. So car driving script, just double click on the scripts. Then in the scripts, we write all the codes that we will be using for driving. So it's called move control the scripts. And all the scripts that is we already shared with you in the with the project folders all right then i'm going to be attach the scripts to the cars then you can move now you can see that so you can turn left and right of the cars you can move forward and backward the cars right but you will stay and see that your car is still flying in the air because this is because we don't add any gravity or any collider objects in the model yet so we just attach the script movement scripts so the car can move can turn left and right can move front and back can stop also so because of the script is already attached and inside the script i already commented out everything on that and you can even go inside the terrain which is not good because your car is should be should know it when they hit the terrain right so first of all to fix all these issues what we'll do is we will be click the cars and we have to make sure that the car is become solid just click on the component physics and the rigid body the moment you attach the rigid body components in the car objects the mass the drags and gravity everything's there so when you run it this time now the car can be seen in the ground which is good it is showing that your car already have a mass and gravity impact your physics engine for the car is already start working now we're going to add component physics the box colliders so box colliders you can see that it's, it's quite big the green color lines around the cars so we have to scale the box to make sure that to fit enough the size with the cars so these box colliders and we call it all these colliders are very important in unity so with these colliders you can detect which objects it hit with when object hit with some other objects these colliders can detect for you 
So you have to make sure you can, based on the size of the objects, we can use the multiple uh, colliders. You can use the capsule colliders, you can use the cube in the box collider, you can use sphere colliders. So in our case, now here we use the box colliders. And <clears throat> when you do the box colliders, you'll make make sure that this collider is fit enough with 3D models, right? If the collider is too big, then your car will be stale, the feeling that it is out of the, uh, the flight in the air. So make sure that your box collider must be box, box it the, all these 3D models. So in our cases here now, I'll try to make sure that the box collider is a fit size with the models. So that you can just to make it the fixed size of the model in the box colliders, you can change the size x y z size of the one, and then you can change the center value of the x y z. Okay, now you can see that when you run it, you have a rigid body, and so your car is sort of solid, and your car cannot go sink in the ground because the box collider is already working. When the when the box collider hit with the ground, the terrain colliders, and it will stop them to be follow through the, the ground so now your car your car has now become solid so when you open up the scripts of the car <coughs> the move control everything that we use it for the codes is already commented out so you can just understand that how each line of code are working all right so now you can drive along the cars smoothly same as like that we use it for the prefab so this is the car that just now we added. So in short, we can revise what we do. First, we drag the car models. Then we, we scale the car model. Then we add the rigid body components. After that, we add the box grinder components. And then we attach the scripts. Right. So this is all the step that we have done now. Right. And you click on the save. Then we're going to add another cars, the second cars of that. So in the car models, so this time we're going to be drag the stock cars, the folders. So we just add the second car models here. So after you click and drag, after that you click and drag the second cars, it's called stock cars. This is the scripts. So we'll use the same script on that, don't worry. So in the stock cars, we just click and drag the stock cars. Again, this car is slightly small, so I need to change the, the size slightly. I will remove the animations of the cars and make sure that the, this car size is also same as like that. And you're going to be notice that this car is strange, not same like the other one. So the first cars that we just added in, the A6 everything is correct in line with the Unity 3D world. This car you will be we see that is reverse. Okay, so the blue colors arrows is pointed that uh, is our east direction, the facing directions of the game walls. And you're gonna be notice that this car is reverse. Okay, this car is facing backwards. This kind of things can be happened. Because different 3D modelers can use the different offset degrees when they create the 3D models. So sometimes when you edit in some cars, the directions is in line with your game wall. Like this kind, like this stock car, sometimes you can see the, the car direction is reverse of your the car wall. Right? So after that, <clears throat> we're going to be switch off the, the previous car, the Marsilia Go, the, the, we just switch off for a while. And then we're going to work on the, the new car that we just added in, the, the stock cars. We'll be add <clears throat> the move control scripts to the cars. Then you can try that. The car is now moving reverse way because of car direction itself is also reverse. Right. So after we add the scripts, the car is stuck moving, but it's moving in reverse directions. 
So we can just remove it out again and then we cannot use it immediately like this. So what we do is for those kind of objects that is round direction, we just click on the game object, create empty and we create the empty objects at the position of the curves and then I will just rename it as like uh, red guard or stock guards okay, red guard and then this is the empty objects we created at the position of the car then I drag the stock cars under the red cars right so now this stock cars is as a child of the red cars right and the red car is already in line is an empty object is already in line with the the, the phase in is direction is already in line with the game walls and the stock cars I created as the child of the red cars red car empty objects so after that insights in the red cars I will rotate the y degree of the stock cars I just rotate it at 180 degrees all right I just position change okay I'll make sure that all this car is in there then in the stock curves, I'll rotate, I'll make sure that everything is, is perfect and in line. Then in the stock curves, I'll change the its rotation degree to 180 degrees so that the car is reversed back. Alright, so now when you when you walk in on it, instead of taking from the, st the stock curves, I'll be using from the parent, the, rock, uh, the red cars. Right? This is how we can offset back the uh, six to the right directions right all right okay now we can attach the script to the red car so it can work correctly and we can also add, 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 add the rigid body and because so for, to make sure that it have a weight and after that we can also add the mouse colliders to fit enough with the cars the body the, which is the same as the previous steps that we do on that right so we add the rigid body and then after adding the rigid body the car will sink in the ground then to stop the cars from sinking in the ground we'll be adding the the bounce colliders when you add the bounce colliders this bounce collider size must be same size and fit enough to the cars all right so this green color bounce colliders will be make sure that it will be fit enough with the car box all right After that, you just test it out. So you, you, you can drive the cars very well. And then collision everything is working fine. The script is also working fine. The camera is smoothly follow. And then your, your game is now ready to go. So you can now drive along the, the whole terrain. All right, so after that, you stop the cars. Then you can just switch on the, the other cars on that, the other two cars. Right? So you have three cars. So all together whichever card that you want to use it for the games you can leave it and the rest of the cards you can uncheck on the top and then you can make it like disables
okay after that after everything tested is okay just click on the files the build setting you can build the executables just click on the add open scene so that the scene will already edit in the builds then just click on the build just add open scene and just click on the builds and then you have to show give the folders that your executable will be stored I'll just say like our games and then click folders like folders and then click okay after that it will it already built the executables and data files in the folders so you have to make sure that your executable and data files at the same in the same folders and when you click on the executable ec files so it will run the unity and the whole game you can see back see now you can drive back so this is it and i'll see you in the next lessons thank you